Okay, off you go. All right, hi everyone, my name is Michael Fisher, and I went to an event a while ago, and I learned about two things there. I learned about SAP HANA, and I also learned about this new thing called the Home Green Button Initiative. And what the Home Green Button Initiative is, is it's a thing where you can up where your smart meter in your house will upload exactly how much energy you're using to a server. And I saw the Home Green Button Initiative, and I also saw the SAP HANA in-memory database, and I said, hey, these two things could go together really, really well. So that's what I did, is I used the powerful SAP HANA um, database along with this Home Green Button Initiative, which is a dem democratic way to get access to your energy. And I did a mashup between them. So um, on the screen here, what we have is, this is the first part, it's the mashup. So now we can see exactly how much energy we're using over the course of a month. And what's cool about this is you can be like, oh, you're, here's our energy usage over the month. That's interesting. You know, we can see it varies pretty periodically. We can zoom into certain parts of it and get a real-time insight into it. And this is all on SAP HANA. And then, so we can, now we can zoom into a specific part and we can say, oh, wow, during this peak, there's a peak time right here. And this is looking at aggregate data to try and determine when other people are using uh, energy as well. And these are really, really powerful tools for the energy company to allow them to monitor and uh, determine the proper load and distribute electricity. And it got me thinking. I was like, oh, wow, like, this is a super powerful tool. And, and then it got me thinking, like, what was I doing during this peak right here that made it go up? And what could I do about that that would allow me to actually like, use those powerful tools that are available to the energy companies and make them democratic to allow anyone to use them. So that's what really the second part of this demonstration is, is to, is this thing I said, okay, so I have a tool, and so the only way to really need this tool is nothing like it exists is what I want. So what I wanna do is I have to build it. So what I did is I actually built this computer. Now it looks like, to a lot of you, it looks like a, you say, Michael, this isn't, it's Halloween, like this isn't a computer, it's a power outlet, but it's actually a computer. And there's a full, like, so this is what's inside, is a complete networking stack and CPU and electronics and hardware and electrical equipment. And using this tool, we're able to democratize a lot of the powerful things that are in SAP HANA. So let me give you a demo of how it works. So we first go to the, this website and you log in to, with your username and you say, okay, this is interesting. Wait for the, so, it, and then it gives you like this little display and you're like, okay, this is kind of interesting. So with Christmas coming up, we say, oh, wow, we're using a lot of energy. And then, whoa, there, there it goes. Like, there's this tree lit up. And then we can say, oh, but you know, we want to go to bed later on, and so we want to go to the desk later. So um, there's the lamp going on right there now. And this is all being done completely remotely. So <laughs> thank you. Thanks. So this, this, is, this, this computer, you know, though it looks like a power outlet, it's actually a full computer is actually you know, going up to the cloud, looking to see either if you changed it or if you monitor it or how much electricity in the area other people are using. And then tomorrow, the sort of a teaser is, I'm also gonna be talking a lot more about the um, phone application. So you can imagine the phone, when you, when you leave the house, all your appliances automatically go off that you set for it, and all the other ones will come on when you arrive home. So you don't have to even think about it. It just automatically works. So this, outlet is, is monitoring to see what it should be doing from the cloud, which is and gaining these sort of powerful insights that were only previously available to the electricity company, and taking those really powerful concepts and saying, hey, it would be cool if everyone could use those. So you know, we can do all the things. We can turn on the tree. We can turn on the floor lamp. And we can, because you know, it's getting late, and it's, there it goes. And then you can say, but it's, we're in Las Vegas. It's really hot. What can we do? Oh, we can just automatically turn on the fan when it gets too hot. So the fan's on right now. And then right when we go to bed, you know, we can turn everything off. And down the road, you, know, you want to be able to modify all the different things. So you, know, you plug something else into the desk lamp slot, and you say, we want to replace it with a speakers. <laughs> so and then it automatically um, saves the changes and updates that. So this is sort of a demo. This is, shows you how you can use this thing called Mr. Power to um, control your appliances that's based on top of this cloud. And if you would like to, um, you know, you can get your own actually virtualized Mr. Power if you'd like. And you just go to mrpower.me and you can 
turn on the fan, you can turn on the speakers, you can turn on the TV, you can do whatever you want. And this is it. So thus, in conclusion, using SAP HANA, using Mr. Power, we're able to enable tools that were previously only available to the electricity company and make them more democratic to everyone. Thank you. Excellent. Good. Very well done. Thank you very much, Michael. Excellent job. OK. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Now you have the opportunity to actually, can, Michael, can people actually buy this or not? Come over here, because we need to clear you out of the way so we can then get the next one on there. So can you actually buy this, or what's the? Uh... Um, if you're interested, go to the website and you know, get a virtualized demo of it. And there, you can put a little form to say you're interested in it if you're interested. And of course, if there's interest, you know, maybe it could happen. OK, <laughs> great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lo lovely hair. Thank you. Right.